What's up? How are you guys today? I'm going to show you how to make a Vichy Soie, which is a classic French soup that has leeks, onions, potatoes, a bit of cream. It's served cold, so this is a summer recipe and it is absolutely delicious. Uh, with my current dietary restrictions and health channel, we will be making specific substitutes. So this is the minimally inflammatory version of this recipe. I will note where you would substitute for the classic ingredients. So the organic russet potatoes are finally back in season. I mean, I was able to find regular potatoes, but since I only eat organic foods, I figured I would wait to do this recipe for you guys when they were available. You know, the Yukon Gold, the Fingerling, uh, red potatoes, they're either a pain to peel and they don't taste as good, the texture doesn't turn out as good. What you really want is these organic russet potatoes. I have some yellow onions, usually I use white onions, as long as they're organic, it's fine. The substitute here is the leeks. Most people are not gonna have leeks in their local grocery store, especially organic. I mean, I can get them, but then most of you guys aren't gonna be able to make this. So we're just using onions instead of mostly leeks and some onions. So traditionally, classically, yes, you would use leeks and potatoes, but the onions turn out just as good and it's something that most people have access to. Plus, it's much less expensive. Uh, here we have five cups of our collagen broth from Frankie's Free Range Meat. We're actually just gonna use probably one of these jars because it's so concentrated. Normally, the recipe will call for five to six cups of broth, but you know your typical broth or stock is you know much more diluted than what we have, so keep that in mind. You could also use the chicken stock which we have on Frankie's Syringe Meat, I think that would turn out a lot more delicious because this is really just made from bones and collagen, whereas the chicken stock is made from roasted chicken meat. I have some here in my fridge I can show you guys. It just has gelatinous, and if you open this up and smell it, you'll just want to drink the whole thing. Absolutely amazing. So yeah, a high-quality chicken stock like that is definitely more classic, and it will yield more flavor. You could... Also, just use water. That's what we're going to do, a combination of water and the collagen broth. Instead of dairy cream, I'm using some coconut milk. Normally, I'd use coconut cream, but I don't have any. This is fine, too. Uh, but keep in mind, again, the classic recipe is just going to use some dairy cream. And instead of using butter to cook with, we're just using a little bit of coconut oil to saute the onions in the pan. And as usual, we have some of our salt from Frankie Strange Meat. We're using the Pure Ocean Sea Salt. You will need an immersion blender for this. I mean, you could do it in the regular blender, but it's gonna be a lot more difficult. So keep in mind, guys, before you do this recipe, you definitely want one of these. In regards to proportions, we have five pounds of potatoes and three pounds of onions. That's pretty good. You know, you want at least half the amount of leeks or onions in comparison to the potatoes to maximize the flavor. Uh, for the prep work, we just have to kind of dice everything up. So first I'm gonna dice up these onions and get them in my Dutch oven. I just cut the side off, go directly down the middle, peel off the first layer, nice and easy. And then I just go down the onion like this. And then these pieces just kind of fall apart like this. And this is perfect because it's like a minimal amount of chopping as everything is gonna get blended up anyway. So we'll put our oil in the Dutch oven, which I'm actually out of, so. Uh, so the reason I like this soup so much is that it has a lot of ingredients in my diet that are good for liver detox. You know, the onions, the potatoes. Uh, you know, we're omitting the things that aren't so great, mainly the dairy. All right, so we got about two and a half pounds of onions in our Dutch oven. I'm gonna turn the gas on. These just need to sweat down and cook for about 10 minutes. We don't actually want to get that much color on them. While those are cooking, we're going to peel and dice the potatoes. So I just have a swivel peeler here. I peel the ends of the potatoes first, and then I just go down the sides. Nice, fast, and easy. Just get all the imperfections, black spots off. If you wanna prep all this stuff ahead of time, you would just put these potatoes in a bowl of water until they're ready to be cooked. If the potatoes have any sort of color to the flesh, that's generally an indicator of the carotenoid or flavonoid 
also anti-nutrient content. So the wider the potato, the better it is for your liver. So our onions are pretty much done. You know, they've softened, been sweating in the pan for, I don't know, the 10, 15 minutes it's taken us to peel these potatoes. So now what we'll do is add our collagen broth to the pot. I'm using two cups and I'm going to add three cups of water. So the potatoes we just want cut into sizes that can simmer cook in 30 minutes. So it's mainly about the thickness. You know, like you don't have to chop this piece in half again. That thickness is fine. As long as it's small enough to be blended up fairly easily by the immersion blender. So just potato in half down the middle and then three or four cuts across the potato. I don't know if we've done a video solely on potatoes, but I have talked about them in my favorite vegetable video. They're an excellent source of potassium, minerals, and really, you know, if all you ate was potatoes and meat, you'd pretty much be healthy. They're a very underrated source of nutrition. It's just the form that most people eat potatoes in, of french fries or potato chips, is laden with vegetable seed oils. So actual, you know, baked potato, mashed potato, very healthy. If I keep talking positively about potatoes, is Ireland going to send me like a pot of gold with some pretty redhead Irish girls? What's the deal? Am I ever going to get uh, paid? You know, I actually doubled the amount of potatoes and onions in this recipe, so I think we're a little light on the liquid. We need four cups of collagen broth and then like six cups of water total. Just enough to cover everything. Yeah, so it's really just potatoes, onions, and stock. And we're gonna add, you know, a nice amount of salt to this. Maybe like two tablespoons. So now we're gonna bring this to a simmer. And then it's gonna cook for about half an hour until the potatoes are soft. So I'm making this amount because I don't want those potatoes and onions to go bad. But this is like way too much soup. It's probably 10 days worth of lunch, so it might go bad in the fridge before I eat it. All right, so we have brought the Vichy Chois to like a rolling boil. So we're going to lower the heat to a medium. And we're just going to simmer this until the potatoes are tender. Okay, so it has been approximately 23 minutes and the potatoes are falling apart. Probably a little overdone, but it's okay. Now we're going to take our coconut milk and add most of this can. The way I do this is, you know, I look at the fat content and how many calories and I say I want roughly, you know, 70 to 80 calories worth of fat per lunch portion. So since this is five servings per container, which you know, five times 140 is what, like 700. So you could basically put the whole can in here because this is a week's worth of lunch. Again, depending on your current health status, you might be able to put more fat in here. Uh, for the classic French version, you would wait until this cools down and then you would add the dairy uh, cream. Because that can curdle and stuff, but since this is coconut, it's fine to do it like this. You know, you could wait till this cools down to blend it. Um, probably a lot safer, to be honest. I kind of like blending it when it's hot because when this cools down and the potatoes and the onions absorb more of the water, it's kind of like trying to puree a bunch of chunks, so it's a lot harder to do this way. Uh, it's a bit smoother and easier. However, again, if you're doing the classic French version where you have to wait for it to cool off before adding the dairy and blending it, then uh, you're going to have to wait anyway. So. So there we have it guys, our nice and smooth Vichy Soie. You kind of just want to go in there and make sure there's no chunks or strands of onion, like unblended stuff. And one thing I'll actually do, you know, to add more fiber and make it a little healthier for liver detox is blend in some cannellini beans. That also makes the soup a little bit thicker. So I can actually take like a quarter of the weight of the soup, put that amount of beans in there, and uh, I think it's a slight bit better for my current diet. However, it kind of ruins the taste and flavor a little bit. And honestly, like a puree of potatoes and onions is already perfect for my diet. So I don't stress it too much. 
Uh, so we're going to let this cool off and uh, we'll taste it tomorrow for lunch for you guys because believe it or not, this actually tastes better cold. Plus, as with any soup, after a day or two is when it reaches its peak flavor. You can have it now, of course, but it uh, would not be ideal. All right, so our soup has rested overnight. As you guys can see, it's gotten a bit thicker as it has cooled off to pretty much the perfect consistency. So yeah, in a restaurant, they'll typically garnish this with maybe some creme fraiche. Sometimes they have like herb oils and maybe a handful of chives. Moment of truth, how does our altered Vichy Soit taste? Every time I make this, it still doesn't make sense to me how such a simple, simple recipe has so much flavor. It, it's crazy, it's crazy. I'm really happy with how this turned out. And if you guys use the more classic ingredients, the leeks, chicken stock, butter, and cream, it will probably be one of the best things you've ever had <laughs> that you've made yourself. And as we said in the beginning of this video, serve it cold. It's amazing, cold room temperature, perfect for summer and for liver detox, great combination of starch and uh, fiber from the potatoes. So if you guys would like to support me, you can go to frank where we have a lot of new and interesting products. On there you'll see Frankie syringe meat where you can get the collagen broth or very delicious chicken stock. Outside of that, if you guys can drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell and I'll see you guys soon.